In today's video, we are going to be using Python to perform a somewhat tedious task quite easily. What we want to get Python to do in this video is count from the number 1 through to 100. And we want to display each number on the screen as it counts up from 1 to 100. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, instead of doing what we usually do to print stuff on the screen, where we write print 1, print 2, you can see how long this is taking, print 3. If I was to go all the way to 100, that would take forever. But what we're going to be using instead is something called a loop. Now a loop is a piece of code that gets repeated over and over again until we tell it to stop. Okay, so I'm going to delete the code there because we don't want to write out print 100 times. That's going to take us too long. What I'm going to do is write the code up first and then I'm going to break it down and explain what's going on. Okay, so we start with a variable called number and that number is going to be equal to 1. That's our starting point. So we start counting from the number 1. Then we create a loop, so a piece of code that's going to be repeated over and over again. It's called a while loop. Okay, and a while loop means while a certain condition is true, then we're going to keep repeating the code until it is not true. Okay, so while the number variable up here is less than 101. What we're going to do, oops, let's put a colon at the end, and on the next line we're going to print the number. That's the number variable. And then we're going to go number equals number plus 1. And that's it. Let's break this code down now and have a look at what we've got. So as I said before, we've got a number variable up the top here that starts at 1. Okay, so I've got a bucket of information that has the number 1 in it. That's our starting point. Coming in down here, we've got the start of a loop. It's a while loop. So while this variable up here, number, is less than 101, we're going to then do the following two lines of code. And you can see that these two lines of code have been indented. You must leave them indented. It just shows when a loop begins and when a loop ends. So all the code that is indented, that means it's inside a loop. And these are the pieces of code we want to loop over and over again until we tell it to stop. And in this case, our code is only going to stop when we reach the number 100. Okay, so that's anything less than 101. All right, so while this variable is less than 101, we are going to print the number on the screen. So that prints the number variable. And then it takes the number and it adds 1 to it. Okay, so it starts on the number 1, so we print the number 1 on the screen. Then we just add 1 to that, so we get the number 2. Our code loops around, and we come back to here, and we print the number 2 on the screen. Okay, and then we look at this again, we go to the number variable and add 1 to that again. So now it goes 2 plus 1, it will equal 3. So we print the number 3 on the screen. And then the next time around will be 4, and then 5, and 6, and so on. And that will just keep going up until it finally hits the number 100. And that's when our loop will stop. And that will be the end of our program. So let's save this and have a uh, look at how it works. Just call, let's call it count to 100. And then you can run your module. And bang. You can see Python very, very quickly count to 100. Okay, it's as simple as that. All right, if you wanted to print all the way to a thousand, okay, let's just change the code. While the number's less than a thousand and one, just run those two lines of code. Let's save it by pressing Control S, run the module, and bang. You can see it counting all the way to a thousand very, very quickly. Okay, it saves us a lot of time rather than writing the word print one, print two, print three, all the way to a thousand. Stuff that, we'll just do it in four lines of code. Okay, so it's a very simple way to repeat a piece of code over and over again until you want it to stop. Use that while loop. So while a certain condition is true, that one there, complete these few lines of code. 
All right, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I'll save that up there now, and I'll see you in the next video for some harder stuff.